got some warm water going here. My hands can barely handle it, it's so hot. But you want to get it as hot as possible that you can stand, but you don't want to burn yourself. You're going to take a few squirts of uh, soap and get your hands wet and lather it up. And I'm telling you, you've got to scrub those hands. You don't want any germs on those hands at all when you're cooking. So just scrub them up, sing the happy birthday song, sing Itsy Bitsy Spider, keep yourself entertained for a good 20 to 30 seconds, and rinse them all off and dry them up. And that's how you wash your hands, my friends. Hi guys. I hope you're all doing well. Welcome to the chef room. I decided to make a few videos right inside of our very own chef room and we're doing a Halloween special. Normally in class during the first of trimester of school, we get to do the Halloween week, which is always a lot of fun. Uh, but we can't do that, so I decided to do a Halloween YouTube special and share some of my favorite recipes. I don't know about you guys, but I love Halloween. I just think it's something that you can just have a lot of fun with if you want to. So I'm going to share a few of the recipes that I've done over the years, and hopefully you can try them at home with your loved ones as well. So the first recipe we're going to do today is a caramel apple salad. And I don't know about you, but I love caramel apples, but sometimes they're a little tricky to make. So this is something simple and fun and you could take it to a party and it could be a real crowd pleaser. So we're gonna have, we're gonna just use two apples today. Uh, some of that leftover Halloween candy you might have, some Milky Ways, but you can use any type of candy bar you want and some whipped cream. You just want some caramel in that candy bar if, uh, if possible. So I'm gonna take this apple, I've already washed my apples and I'm going to slice it up here and give you a chance to um, see what I can do here with slicing this apple up nice and good. I think I better, so I'm gonna take an apple here and I'm gonna slice it up. Well, I should say probably chop it up into little cubes so that I can add it to my caramel apple salad. So I'm just taking this, I'm just slicing through and uh, dicing it up or chopping it up for this beautiful salad we're gonna make. Just keep your fingers uh, behind the blade curl those up, just take a slice through here, slice through here, and I'm just going all the way around the apple. Then I'm going to take it and put it in the flat side, the flat side, curl my fingers, and chop through. Chop, chop, chop. Chop it on up, and slice it the other way. I'm going to take all those beautiful apples and just dump them into this little bowl that I have here and use that to mix everything together. I have two Milky Ways, one that is a salted caramel and one is just a regular. I like a little bit of variation, so I'm going to use a little bit of both. I'm going to line them up like so. and. I'm going to just saw through both of them and chop those beautiful babies up. The last thing ingredient we're going to add is some Cool Whip and I'm just going to use about maybe it's about a cup of Cool Whip. I'm going to mix that in. I notice I didn't even measure it. It's not that important and you're just going to mix it all together and make sure it's fully coated with Cool Whip. And then you're gonna have this beautiful caramel apple salad. Now you can cut up a whole bunch of caramels, um, a whole bunch of Milky Way, excuse me, me, and a whole bunch of apples, and you can make a nice big one. I'm telling you, it's a crowd pleaser. People love this stuff. 
and I'm just going to add it here into my little skeleton cup and let's see here hi guys so I have my caramel apple salad and I want to make sure I get a bite of all three things whipped cream Milky Way and apple Mm. so good yummy easy crowd pleasing it's a must wow i sure did enjoy that caramel apple salad now i'm going to teach you guys how to make some bat chips and with some homemade salsa they are the best so you're going to take some tortillas, some flour tortillas, or you can use corn if you'd like. You're going to have, um, you're going to need some garlic pepper, some paprika, and some coriander for this. And what you're going to do is take a bat cookie cutter, or if you'd rather do pumpkins or ghosts, any cookie cutter Halloween will work. Um, it's entirely up to you. So first, I'm going to combine my spices. I'm gonna take a teaspoon of paprika and put it into a little custard cup uh, or any type of dish will work. I'm taking a teaspoon of coriander and putting that into the same bowl. And I'm taking a teaspoon of garlic pepper and putting that into the same bowl and I'm going to stir my spices together. Next thing you're gonna do is take a few flour tortillas or corn tortillas. You're gonna put them on a cutting board and you're gonna take your cookie cutter, whatever you choose to use. I got a pumpkin here. And you're going to cut those shapes out like so. And maybe I'll use a bat this time. And you just cut them all out nice and neatly so that you have different shaped chips. Here's a bat and so on and so on. All right, we're going to safety precaution up here and we're getting ready to take these bad boys out of the oven and let's see how delicious these pumpkin bat ghost chips are going to open up the oven all the way make sure you have two oven mitts on all the way pull out the oven rack oh wow look at those chips those look yummy baked to perfection i'm going to take one of these take a little bite Mmm. Love them. So good. The coriander just gives it that little mmm that it needs. Delicious. Now, I also put up my homemade salsa video. Make sure you watch it and pair these chips with that salsa. It's a game winner for sure. <laughs> 